lost some files from your external hard drive, let's see if we can get them back. Hello everyone, it's Josh here from Stella, back again to solve more of your technical problems. Today I'll be focusing on getting your lost data back from one of these, an external hard drive. But before we get into how you can get that data back, let's first take a little look into why files can suddenly become corrupted. Turns out there are a number of reasons as to why your data may have become lost and corrupt, one of which is down to sudden system shutdowns and crashes. If this were to happen, this prevents the hard drive from carrying out a requested process properly, causing a localized file damage. Another cause could be some kind of physical damage to your hard drive. Depending on which type of hard drive that you're using, you can often tell something is physically wrong due to some clicking noises, excessive vibrations, or just some visible damage. If it does seem apparent that there is some damage, then sadly it's highly likely that you will suffer with some file corruption. Now, when a file becomes affected by corruption, their parent programs often refuse to open them up, showing some kind of annoying error message on the screen. It is also entirely possible that the corrupted files will no longer be visible within the storage folder. But don't panic, even in that case, not all hope is lost. Even when a file has disappeared, you are still able to recover it, regardless of your level of computing knowledge. Everyone can recover files just by following these five simple steps. So let's waste no time and get straight into it. Step number one, download some data recovery software. First up, you need to download some reliable data recovery software that will put you in the best position possible to recover your lost files. For this video, I'll be showing you how to use the five-star Trustpilot rated Stellar data recovery software for Windows. This software has been developed with you, the end user in mind, keeping the interface as simple as possible, allowing even the most rookie of computer users to use it with ease. So don't worry if you're yet to upgrade your operating system either, Stellar Data Recovery for Windows covers all versions of Windows back to the classic Windows 7. But now that you've got it all downloaded, let's move on to step number two. So step two is to select your file type. So now you've got everything set up, you can now select exactly which file types you want to be recovered. Stellar Data Recovery allows you to select from pretty much every file type that you can think of. If it's your office documents that you've lost, then you can simply select to recover some Word or Excel files. Lost some videos? No need to panic. You can choose from MPEG, MOV and FLV to name a few. And don't think you need to limit yourself to choose just one or two file types. You can simply select the All Data box to recover. Well, everything possible, really. Step three, select where to recover from. Now, step three allows you to select exactly where you wish to recover your files from. On this page, as long as you have your external hard drive connected to your device, you will be where you can select it. You'll notice on this page, you've got a nice selection of all your storage devices to pick from. So just make sure you know exactly what your external hard drive is called. If you wanna be, you can get more specific, selecting exactly which folder you wish to recover data from if you don't want your whole device to be scanned. Step four, scan. Once you've selected your external drive or whichever storage device you wish to recover files from, you can go ahead and click the scan button to get the scan underway. Doing this will cause the data recovery software to start scanning through your external hard drive to find which files from your selected file types it can find for you to recover. How long this process takes completely depends on how much data the software needs to go through. This is why it's a good idea, if you can, to select a more specific file location to scan through, speeding up the process if you're in a rush. You also have the ability to choose between two types of scans, deep and quick. Deep scans will take a fair bit longer, but will give you a larger number of results. Quick scan is there if you just need to find one or two lost files and you're in a hurry to do so. Step five, recover. And finally, once the scan is completed, it's time to select which files you wish to be recovered. Regardless of whether the files were previously deleted or corrupted, Stellar Data Recovery will find pretty much every single one of these files for you. Once you've selected which files you wish to recover, simply click on the recover button and choose where you wish to save these files to. And all your work is done. It really is that simple. Something to bear in mind though, is make sure that you save the files to a different location to where they were recovered from. This is just an extra little measure 
that you can take to ensure the files don't become corrupt again. If you've liked what you've seen today and think Stellar Data Recovery for Windows can help you, then you can find all the information and links you'll need in the description below. There's also a free trial available to you as well, so you can try before you buy. Thank you very much for watching, and remember to subscribe for more tech content. I'll see you next time.